It's intimidating. I'm in San Diego. Introducing new ideas means changing some systems. All right, let's do this <laughs> day. It's a new week. It's 6.15 a.m. I'm ready to start double duty. Let's go. Hi. 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 I'm in San Diego. We're gonna have a little chat, please. The thing about being a one-woman production company is that I often have random equipment with me. This little lav mic is one such item. I am running social media for The Great Gatsby on Broadway. I am also associate directing the U.S. premiere of a new musical. <laughs> for what it's worth, Double duty is common to the point of I have worked on shows where directors were basically not present, only associates were there. Same with choreographers. Almost anyone behind the scenes on Broadway has multiple irons in the fire and you have to because none of these things pay individually enough to sustain a life. My degree is in directing. My background is as a director choreographer. This opportunity came sort of out of the blue interviewed, didn't hear anything for weeks, and got it the same week I was offered Gatsby, which if you've been following along, I'm working on Gatsby in a capacity that wasn't even necessarily what I pitched in the first place. So like this whole 2024 <laughs> is an amazing blessing and an amazing challenge and just sort of unbelievable. And the good news about social media is, well, first of all, I'm in California, as I've mentioned. Broadway is Eastern time. So all of my meetings are in the morning. So it basically, I'm staying on Eastern Standard Time. I am waking up, the way this is gonna happen is that I am waking up at like 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I usually will start my meetings around 7 a.m. Pacific Standard, which is 10 a.m. Eastern. I will then be in rehearsal 10 to six with lunch. I am flying back to the city in two weeks. I may fly back again on a couple of my other days off. We have two days off each weekend here, which is amazing. I also have two amazing associates on Gatsby who are incredible, who are better at certain things than I am. One of that is capturing content, like Chris is one of my assistants and one of the people on the social media team for Gatsby. And he is he is better at capturing than I am. Anyway, all this goes to say, there will always be someone from the team available for any in-person capture. The good news, bad news, whatever of this is that Gatsby is in rehearsal while Ride is in rehearsal. And there isn't that much that we can capture in Gatsby rehearsal. We're gonna have a social captain. They will capture a lot of the BTS stuff that's gonna be great. And I have schedule dates throughout of like different things, like one of the things that I'm flying back to the city for. If you're wondering how one does two full-time theater jobs in addition to being a full-time voice actor running an Airbnb, this is how. By the time you see this, I will be back in New York for good. Ride will have opened, which is the show that I can't wait to tell you about. Oh my God. Gatsby will have started previews and I will be back in the city. San Diego is beautiful. I haven't been here since I was 15 years old. I'm so happy to be in 65 degree weather. Oh my God. Also, if you were watching my Florida vlogs, which was in January, I feel like sometimes, I feel like oftentimes my best work on Broadway is not done in New York. I find the space so helpful. I find it so easy to get stuck in the New York machine. Yeah. Yeah, plus winter in New York, no one's fave. At any rate, I will continue to work at least 17 hour days, but we are very well positioned for this. I'm really, really excited. I don't wanna talk your ear off, but like I, it's been a second since I've gotten to, I don't know, when was the last time I did a directing choreo gig? July, summer. I think I've just been in marketing world so much, which is also a creative endeavor and like is so fun for my business brain, but I'm pretty damn excited to be back in the rehearsal room. It's tricky. It's been done before. Come on, if Hal Prince can be a director producer. I know, I know, I know. I'm not Hal Prince. I'm merely Catherine Quinn with hopes and dreams. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick primer on the show or just tell you a few of the reasons why I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna go to the Old Globe tomorrow and meet the director in person. She's British, I'm so excited. Not just cause she's British, but she seems like great people. Where the Old Globe is, like one of the reasons, oh my God, there's just a lot to fill you in on. I've been holding this in for a really long time. Not that long, not that long, just a few weeks. One of the reasons I am so excited to be at the Globe is because Jack O'Brien directed Shucked. Shucked was a year of my life. Jack O'Brien was the artistic director of the Globe for like 25 years, the old Globe. He just loves it. And 
I love him. And so I just feel like it's got to be a good place. The show that I'm working on is called Ride. It is a two-woman musical. It is a British show with a British team. It's a show by Brits about Americans. The recording is on Spotify. It is excellent. I'm very excited for Americans to fall in love with this show. It like, it is queer, is fiercely feminist. It is like vocally and physically athletic. I got to meet the two actresses playing the leads. Time has no meaning. A couple of days ago, there was like a New York City send off. They are light bulb humans. So that's going to be amazing. I'm just, I've got very good feelings about this. I think I feel a bit of comfort. I'm so grateful for this wild Broadway marketing <laughs> catapult that I'm on. I'm also so excited to do something that I just know I feel know how to do. I know how to be in a room. I know how to work with actors. I know how to be in rehearsal. I know how to be an associate. I know how to document a show. I know how to take notes. I know how to do all of those things. I know how to work on a developmental piece of theater. Like I, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but like with Broadway marketing in the most thrilling way, my brain is exploding every second because I'm learning so much. I'm bumping up against hurdles I didn't know would exist. I'm like just Mario Kart pew pew whack a mole my way through. Whereas a rehearsal room is shit that I've now been doing for like professionally for 15 years. Oh my God. And we get to like play. They're like, we have clowning to like, come on, come on. I'm so excited. Also my eye won't stop twitching. I am a little underslept and slightly stressed. But other than that, we're doing great. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. I've been talking forever. This is a very thrilling time. I can't like my, my luck is outrageous. I love all of this work. My eye is twitching so hard right now. I, it's not because I'm lying. My eye is just twitching because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I recorded all of this and the laugh mic didn't work? This is worth being overworked for. Both jobs are totally worth being overworked for. I am so confident that I've been pouring like 200% of myself into Gatsby and I will also pour 200% of myself into Ride. And it's like an amazing opportunity to explore both sides of my brain. So anyway, that's what I've been sitting on for a minute. Listen, again, no one in Broadway marketing is working on one show. No creative on Broadway is working on one show. Rachel Chavkin, how does she exist? Does she have a time turner? If Rachel Chavkin can do it, come on. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So I am happy to be here ready to work. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm gonna unpack my Trader Joe's groceries that I got on my way in from the airport. Welcome to Cast Company Housing. Lovely, have seen quite the array of um, housing options in my time as a performer and director, choreographer, and writer. Like I have had many themes and variations and this is awesome. Also, San Diego is so gay and I'm really happy about that. Okay, I'm gonna unpack my groceries. I'm gonna go to Target. This is also, okay, the final thing I'm gonna say is I fucking love starting a contract. It is the most fun. You go spend like millions of dollars on groceries and you like get settled into your new place and you're like, ooh, it's an adventure. What's everyone gonna be like? Like an out of town, like come on, first day of Broadway rehearsal is amazing and living in the city that you're working in is also amazing. But I will say that there is something about the like five week, four week, whatever contract of just like going out of town, meeting the friends. It's like, this was my whole 20s was doing this and it's fun. I'm gonna miss my dog and my partner so much that I just like want to teleport back to New York City in about mm, 24 hours. But right now I'm gonna live in this high. Okay, I'm going now, I'm going now, bye. We're cozy, doing meetings and drinking Celsius. Not sponsored. Today's the day where I'm overwhelmed. Well, the first day where I'm overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, the Old Globe is so beautiful and the area it's in is beautiful. It's called Balboa Park. And if you've been to San Diego, you probably know it. It's where the zoo is. It's huge. And I parked in the dumbest place ever to get to the space. And I met the director and she's literally the loveliest person alive. And I articulated this to her, but Oh my God, it was like, Catherine, you can do warm up games with the cast and we're gonna be doing clowning games together tomorrow. And y'all, there's a reason I got a degree in directing and not acting. Is it good for me to have a taste of my own medicine? Yes. Am I wanting to stretch in that way right now? Um, no, I already feel very stretched. Thank you so much. It's fine. I will be happy to be here ready to work. My eye is twitching again. My eye has not stopped twitching for a week. And it was like, you know, Catherine, we're gonna have you 
talk through all the research tomorrow and you know it's great and I'm and I'm grateful and she's really like keen on making me like you know a leader in the room etc which I'm very happy to do and excited and feel good about just in ways that are not necessarily inherent to the way I run a room but I'm definitely gonna grow definitely gonna grow yeah I don't know I think I'm finding today a bit intimidating in general. Like, I don't know. I reached out to a producer friend this morning about some frustrations that I'm feeling just in terms of like the bureaucracy of Broadway. And we'd had this really great conversation. I don't know. It's just strange. Like, you know, your work acquaintances, you know, your work colleagues that will be like share, 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 share as long as it pertains to them. But the second that you insert something that isn't like tea, if it doesn't offer them something directly, they just kind of ghost and therefore it feels like they hold all the power and it makes you feel impossibly small. Anyone? Do you know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm experiencing where I'm just like, cool. You reach the point where you're like, oh, I think we might be friends and colleagues, but then an interaction will make you feel like dirt. Anyone? Y'all know what I'm talking about? So that coupled with learning, you know, the very actory, very British way that this will be run, which is great and will make me a better director. And being in a new place, being away from my dog and my partner. Yeah, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling intimidated today. So I was just going to be honest about that. Tomorrow's the first day of rehearsal. I think I'll have all the good feelings. We're reading and singing through the show. I think that's going to be very, very informative. I think it's going to be a really interesting exercise. I was asking the director, Sarah, this morning. I was like, how much, how do you balance? Because this is a new musical. It, it, it's in development. It's had a couple of iterations in the UK, but like this is the US premiere but certainly not the last production in the US. And it's like, even though we don't know anything, so don't ask, I don't know. How do you balance your zoomed out macro lens of the piece and what it needs in development while also teaching the thing that currently exists? Which you'd think I'd had the answer to having worked on new material for the last two years, but I've either been in marketing land or I've been assisting someone else in charge, which isn't to say that I'm not here I just feel like I have more of a voice in this room, which is great. Yeah, and I think I'm just like stealing myself because I know I'm learning new creatives and learning a new space. And I mean, I'm thrilled to be the old globe, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's intimidating. Huge facility. You go into the rehearsal space. There's actors that you know covering the walls and production photos. I don't know. It just, and I've worked in some fancy theaters and I've worked on Broadway. I work on Broadway, but like, I don't know. It just has a certain, it feels prestige. And I haven't even seen the actual space. I just saw, I got a glimpse of the outside and I was like, Burr. yeah, I just can't believe 2024. And I can't believe how it's like stretching me. I don't want to stop growing. And again, this is like growing in really exciting ways. It's just like, it's not comfy. I'm definitely not just like coasting. Anyway, all right, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a pizza. I think I might take myself to the movies this afternoon. I think that might be good to let my brain vacate. I still haven't seen Poor Things. I might take myself on a little date. I think that might be really nice. And I need to figure out a working out situation here, like stat. The final thing I'm going to say is I miss my dogs so much. There's so many dog parks. It's so dog friendly here. I'm just like, I need my bear. I want to go for a run, but I want to go for a run with my bear. I want to go for a walk, but I want to go for a hike with my, I just want to be with my bear. I'm done whining. I'm very grateful to be here. It's just new and temporary, but new and a little scary. Hi, we sweat in rehearsal. Jennifer Jenkische resident choreographer of Hamilton kicked our asses with strength training. I also worked out for the first time in weeks this morning and I used my lunch break to go for a hike. So I'm going to be so sore tomorrow. I still somehow haven't done 10,000 steps, which is really embarrassing. I'm not far, but still, how sad. It used to be so common for me to do like 20K in the city and now I'm just like, I don't know, on a computer all day. But it feels really good to be back in my body. We played theater games and I survived. We're playing more games tomorrow. And not only did I survive, I had fun. I had fun. It's a great group of women and some men. It's just nice. And um, the Jeremy and Eva shoot went up today and we have 42,000 likes on a photo carousel. It's like, the, sh the photos are insane and gorgeous, but like, damn, crazy. Yeah, and I had an exciting call that I can't talk about yet. And I thought I was seeing Redwood tonight, but boo surprise, I didn't actually buy tickets. I did the thing where it was like, you need to create a fucking account to buy your tickets. So I created the account and got that confirmation was like, I must have purchased my tickets. No. Livy and I, one of the actresses in Ride, we're gonna go see Redwood on Thursday, which is great. Tonight, I'm gonna do a little work, do a little reading, go the to sleep. I am still not on the right time zone, but it's okay. Oh my God. This day ran the gamut. Isn't it crazy how much physical um, activity helps anxiety? Why do I have to relearn this lesson all the time? I don't even know that I need to join a gym. I'm just going to the gym of Jennifer Jankashe.
okay, I'm gonna do some work, but all in all, it was a really good day. And I love San Diego, and I'm so excited to explore more. We get, we get to go to the zoo. We get to go for free, I think. We get to do so many fun things. This city is amazing. I think it must be very expensive. <laughs> But I really like it. No, my eye is twitching. It didn't twitch most of today. Okay, all right. See you in a bit. Happy lunch break. This is so beautiful. And a tank top in February. Come on, I'm just gonna take myself for a walk. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm just gonna mention once more, my dog would love this. Good morning from me and my makeshift voiceover booth. This is doing voiceovers on contract. This is a chair with a table over it in housing and comforters. Honestly, not a bad setup. obsessed with my lunchtime little nature walks. This is the shit. Hi, I'm having a good day in Ride World, getting to be up on my feet, which I love. And you know, the first few days are always like everyone learning to navigate one another and part of the associate gig is always figuring out how much to speak up, when to speak up, when it's useful, when it's another cook in the kitchen, you know, all the huge. And it's hard when your instincts are like very different from someone else's. And it's definitely not to say anyone's are better or worse. It's just different. Kind of figuring all that out. And oh my God, I think the water is over there. It's just over there. And then in relationship to me, back here is Balboa Park. If you keep going that way, you can get to the old glow. So I'm just out here in the sunshine. It's <laughs> amazing. It's going great. And tonight is Redwood night. I'm going to see Adina Menzel. What's her name? Adele Zazim. Let's do a quick check in on Gatsby land. Finishing out this hike. Gatsby's going great. It's definitely, I'm feeling the heat of like all the other shows starting to like pull some bigger marketing swings. It's really interesting, like paying attention to the trends and like when marketing spend really happens in what avenues, what isn't moving the needle, what isn't, which is most of it. It's just a really interesting calculus. And what's going on over on my end is, I don't know, I'm just, may have talked about this a bit yesterday because yesterday was a little hairy you know, I'm just doing some things differently. And even though they're working well, it's very annoying. <laughs> it like really is overwhelming to any other party working on the show. Not creative, they're thrilled. But other humans, other humans working on the show, you know, mostly marketing land, because it's just something that their brain space hasn't had to occupy before. And introducing new ideas means changing some systems and people are gonna be cranky about it, even if it serves them. So, you know, just continuing this journey of trying shit and helping share we with folks it's just not that scary it's not that big of a deal i'm not gonna make you do it's not gonna be more work in the long term it just might take a little shift of your brain up front that's gonna pay off great for everybody long term it's gonna make you look good it's very interesting very interesting anywho yeah you know did i mention i also i've had some conversations with folks lately who've been like so what is it that you want to do and yeah you know i don't want to get too navel gazy haha -ha. but what a great question it's gonna be interesting to see where things land all right I'm a hike now. Oh my God, I'm in love with San Diego. I love it here. I would live here so happily. <laughs> it's amazing. Except I want all my people here and they're not. And my critter, I want him so badly. Hi, good morning. I made it to Friday. Holy shit. It's been much. It's been many. It's been good. I was feeling really tired and, uh, you know, uh, frankly a little like unmotivated for work this morning the in-person job I already did voiceovers and Gatsby stuff and oh my god the timeout cover of Eva and Jeremy is out today and it's so good speaking of oh my god it's so fun it is the correct flavor for our show I love it it's fabulous anyway I was like you know what I'm either gonna drive to the water this morning which I still haven't seen but today is not the day for that or I'm going to go get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee which was the faster option which is is in fact what I did. So I just went to a place called Influx. I, I don't know if I'm in North Park or South Park, but this is so cute. 
I'll show you what I'm looking at. This is just a residential street, which, yeah, you know what? On camera, it doesn't look that adorable, but it's just very f***ing cute. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm plum tuckered. I, I need a second for myself. You know, I got here and it feels like, pew, just shot out of a cannon. And I love being in a rehearsal room all day. And also I find it really hard being in a rehearsal room all day. So I will say one of the greatest gifts of this contract is we're doing five day work weeks, which is an absolute miracle. So Sunday, Monday. So I have today and tomorrow, then two days off, which is beyond um, just incredible. So it's all gonna be good. Happy to be here, ready to work. Just my body is tired. My brain is tired. I don't know that my soul is really tired. My soul feels pretty good, which is nice. I just don't particularly want to be in the basement of a space all day today, but very grateful for the opportunity. We can hold all these truths to be self-evident. No, to, to, you know, hold simultaneous, you know, nuance. That, that. Okay. All right. Let's do this day. Let's do this Friday. I'm grateful that it's warm. I miss my son. I miss my partner, but that's okay. I'm gonna be in New York a week from today. Wild. On a plane like the one I'm looking at in the sky right now. Ha! Sorry, I should have given you a belt warning. Let's go. Hi, look at me. Looking like a crumb de la crumb. This is shower, Catherine. This is flyaways, new hair growth, but yay, Catherine. This is end of the week, Catherine. Yeah. Oh man, that feels good. Feels really, really nice. Hi, I look nuts, but let's check in because I'm gonna close out this vlog. Y'all, we finished week one of Ride. We did it. We did it. It's been good. I'm learning a lot. I'm loving San Diego. I'm growing a lot. I have for the last two years, but I feel like I'm getting to like stretch in a new way. I feel like, yeah, I'm getting to stretch in a new way that feels good, which is a gift in the realm of like, wow, what's my life? Got a DM from a famous person who said nice things about me. Like, in a DM and then I gave them advice that's all I'm gonna say about that it's just like on the one hand they're a human being and on the other hand yeah I don't know the whole like I get to interact with amazing people it's wild I'm very grateful for my <laughs> for my life I miss my dog miss my partner but anyway yeah I'm gonna wrap it up here I'm about to have two days off and by that I mean two days to catch up on all the other shit. like mostly a lot of Gatsby work which you know I do a little bit every day but like well, I do a lot every day, but the next two days are a lot of Gatsby. I'm gonna go see poor things. I've been saying that for like literally months. I hope I mean it this time. I'm hopeful I'll go on a hike. If I go on a hike, I'll take out with me. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming up this week. I'm going back to the city. I'm going to, I'm gonna go film something exciting for Gatsby this coming weekend on my next two days off. That's happening. We get our understudy in for a ride. Still getting this new show up at the Globe. Y'all, it's really good. It's a really cool show. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so anyway, if you want to be here for all the crazy shenanigans of putting up a brand new musical and also another brand new musical at the same time, one associate directing gig, one social media marketing gig, stay tuned. You know where to find me. I adore you all. Thank you all for watching. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at it's Catherine Quinn. I'm going to go to sleep. You're the best. Stick around. Bye.